everyone, it's Gordon Einstein. I am in a car with this fine gentleman, Marcus Dalt, yes, uh, from Deutschland, from Freiburg, near Strasbourg. And Marcus is a very interesting person, an entrepreneur in the electrical vehicle space, and I think probably beyond drones and etc. I'm going to let him explain everything, but I just want to explain what's going on here. I am in Monaco. I went to the Bertosa Summit. I'm now going to CC Summit. Everyone's like, oh, you should talk to Marcus. You should talk to Marcus. And I think a few people reached out to him and told him he should talk to me. We're both like crazy busy talking to a whole bunch of people running around. So Marcus, being Mr. Initiative, reached out to me at about seven o'clock this morning. He said, I'm heading to the Nice airport from Monaco. I'll pick you up in five minutes and you can interview me in the car on the way to the Nice airport. And me, because I'm freaking insane, said, sure, no problem. Let me shower. <laughs> Fastest shower known to life. Came downstairs, he picked me up in his car, which we'll talk about in a second. And now we're doing an impromptu interview on the way to Nice Airport. So this is gonna be unstructured, unedited. We're just gonna go for it and see how this flows. So I'm gonna turn the camera back and forth and just, just work with us. Don't be critical, people. Don't be critical. Okay, let's see here. Marcus, good morning. Good morning, everybody. And just give, give us your version. Why, how did you end up here? Oh, I was, uh, um, <laughs> I missed my flight yesterday to Bastia. I'm living now, uh, as I'm a German, I'm living now in Corsica, in, uh, uh, in nearby Bastia. And uh, I, I missed my flight yesterday because of the total charging station was not working. So I lost one hour and until I got them working with the hotline and all the stuff, but the flight was gone, yeah. I was coming from Saint-Tropez and I missed the flight. So I decided, okay, I will text some people who are still in, in, in Monaco and uh, spend one more night in Monaco. I, I love it. And you know, there, there's probably a message there about the charging station not working and what Marcus is trying to accomplish. But we'll get to the bigger picture in a moment. What brought you, let me just pick on the, on the thing that, one thing that caught my ear. How do you end up in Corsica? What's up with Corsica? I was running around. Uh, I had uh, the, the idea of a charging station infrastructure um, in 2015 when I was purchasing one Tesla Model S. I immediately felt in love and saw that this is a new disrupting technology for all the mobility sector. I saw that. I already. I also saw that 25 years ago when I was writing one of the first hotel internet-based booking engines. I saw that that the internet will disrupt hotel bookings. Right. Everybody was laughing at me. I was writing the business plan. I was writing the soft, the the, the, the software, the first soft, one of the first software in that area. I, I was uh, associated later with, uh, I, I bought 3,000 hotels in it and then later I found, uh, two years later, I found a nice guy from from, from, from United States, um, uh, Eric, Eric Christensen, and he had a company in San Mateo, World West, yeah, and he already had 15,000 hotels in it, so I was deciding, okay, my 3,000 hotels, his 15,000 hotel, that is more, so I will join them, I will join them, so I went to San Mateo, I was checking out everything, mm -hmm. And finally, to cut the story, he failed because he missed his IPO in 2000 with Bear Stearns by only four weeks when when the stock market crashed. Yeah, oh, man. yeah. So so all my stock options, 50 million, were lost in space. Yeah, and I had to recover myself. So I sold my assets to Booking.com. My people went to Booking.com in 2000, and they made Booking.com great in Germany, as as it's uh, all over the world great. So I'm very early in all my visions, and that is a problem, of course. If you are very early, it's not easy. So come back to the car. 2015, I saw it. That would be the next big thing. It's again like 25 years ago, all the people are laughing, forget Marcus, uh, Tesla, shit car, bad quality, American, electric, we don't need, we, we like the sound, uh, where to charge and all the problems, yeah. And I said, no worries, it will, I will make it, yeah. So I sold my company that I had these days with procurement and utility companies, mm -hmm. very boring stuff to be honestly saying. And I put 500,000 of my money on the table and looked for further funding. Yeah, by Austrian government, but unfortunately the the co-financing bank, <laughs> the co-financing bank told me on my birthday after six months of proving with recommendation from Austrian government uh, um, arm to of, of, of private entrepreneurship funding ABS, they told, look Markus, we cannot support you because we are not sure about electrical cars. We don't think that electrical cars will come. 
Are you serious? At, at, yeah, wait, 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 yeah. When was this? Yeah, it was in, in, in December 2017. In December 2017. And my business plan was break even in 2022. That was the next argument they, they talked, they told me. They told me, Markus, five years break even, that is too long. That is too long. Then I thought, what? If you build infrastructure, five years break even is too long? What the hell? And then I packed my stuff and I went to Dubai because there one shake with a nice uh, with a nice uh, dress was promising me funding and uh, okay, I thought, okay, uh, um, that is not working. And by this I was running around two years, flying from crypto conference to crypto conference, was yeah. operating an ICO and tried to get... Okay, so I'm gonna totally interrupt and then we'll come back to this. One thing that was interesting when you and I were initially making contact, even though we were kind of referred to each other, is you're very precious and guarded with your time. It's clear. And you move fast from one thing to another. And you sent me a video about the number of seconds in one day. So did you, I, I, am I right in saying that you're, you're running around a lot has taught you the value of time and to be very selective in how you manage your time? Yes, because look, after this uh, uh, Austria experience, I, I, the, the, the company went bankrupt. My 500,000 money was spent. I had to pay with the oh, employees wow. and everything. And then from that, I had a big, big check mark on my skin. Yeah, don't work with Markus. Every, every time when I met somebody, he was Googling my name. He saw, ah, Markus bankrupt. Okay, don't work with him. Yeah, right. because also one journalist was writing bad about me yeah, because I failed. But to, be, to fail, that is a way of life. Oh, yeah. that's how you learn. I, I yeah. literally just put on Instagram, like, I want to feel bigger and faster. Yeah, yeah. that is like this, yeah. And to back to the questions why I ended up in Corsica, because three years ago, one Corsican guy was offering me uh, um, to make everything happen what I was talking at conferences. And for that, I, put, I packed my luggage and I moved. So since two years, I'm now living in Corsica. I'm happy. I have their 2,000 electrical cars in the fleet. I have their... I have their uh, charging stations and operations. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. So did that guy follow through on what he promised? Yes. Everything Amazing. that I was talking years long at conferences, I have that now everything in place in on this nice island so the people can come, the people can watch. Everything is working and now I'm rolling out. And about the second and the time, because I was cheated so many times by people promising me, inviting me in Dubai, for example, pick up me, pick me up in Rolls Royce, invited me for caviar and champagne, what I don't need. And then they 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 they, they left, and I had to pay my the bill. Yeah. So by that, I'm very selective nowadays to whom I spend my seconds. So l let me understand that you get because I'm new to Dubai myself, and I'm trying to understand. The contours of how to work there. They would invite. They pick you up with the rolls. Yeah. They invite you to champagne, to yeah. champagne and caviar. Yeah. And then you would get the bill for the yes. champagne and caviar. They left. They left. I was alone sitting on the table. <laughs> that, just... that happened. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, one week later I packed my luggage and said, okay, I'm done with Dubai. <laughs> there are only gold diggers. So, so, so I was not lucky in, in talking to the right people. And just to explain you why I'm now moving fast and do a lot of things and work really hard. Because I learned on the failure, if I employ people too early, and it takes more time because now COVID and you never know, yeah. So, so I try to do a lot of things myself first to learn how it's doing, and then I select the people. And now I'm in the phase of hiring people because everything is working fine, and and I know it will never go uh, into 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 a shit anymore mm -hmm. because I know step by step I'm doing that. I I, I always do with my project, my ideas, the proof of concept myself. Now in my free time, besides of daily operations. Do you, do you have free time? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have 86,400 80, seconds every day. And I can decide myself mm -hmm. to whom I spend. Sorry. With whom I spend my, my, my seconds, yeah. So what they do here, they are checking now. Hmm, okay. Uh, it's okay. So the, how, how did you get into, I don't, I don't think I got this part. How did you get an interest in electric cars in the first place. Yeah, because I was uh, buying a, a Tesla Model S 
and then I saw the big screen. I, I no noise and nothing. So I was I was uh, uh, seeing that immediately that it is disrupting everything. Because look, in an electric car, you only have 20% of the parts like in a combustion engine cars. Mm. And for that reason, for sure, it will get much more cheaper in production and in operation. Okay. An electrical car is no longer a car, it's a battery on wheels. You can make it as a, as a USB power bank and you can charge uh, your stuff at home. Yeah, you can watch TV yeah. when there is no... When there is no um, it's kind of like an iPhone, it's not even a phone. It's just a computer platform that happens to do calling. There you go. Yeah, now the... And by the way, everyone, just to get a sense of what's going on, we are in beautiful, beautiful... French, I guess, I don't know what to say, countryside roadway, but it's really nice. So, yeah, I'm, the, I'm, I'm enjoying the ride here also. On the way to the airport. <laughs> on the way to the airport. Yeah. Without coffee. That's how much I love Marcus. I actually met him without coffee. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. So, <laughs> yeah, I have no coffee machine, so sorry for that. So, yeah, if I'm on a, if I'm on a battery on wheels, at least there should be a coffee maker. What the heck, buddy? Yeah. Um, okay. So, okay, so you, you, here, I'm gonna talk to the camera for a second, just cause I feel like it. So you go in this Tesla, you, you see the, the big screen, you see that it's gonna be completely disruptive, that it's functionally a battery on wheels. Now, many people got into, into a Tesla, been interested in it, but they haven't started their own vehicle company. So what was the, what was the, what was the next epiphany moment? Yes, it's gonna be disruptive. What, what was your motivation for getting involved in creating something? Look, I was uh, bought after 15 years of working with utility companies. I built their an e procurement solution, something like Amazon for Business, right. but based on SAP. And um, it was, it was. Um, um, I, I wanted to do something new. After 15 years uh, of doing something in a business, I want to do something new. That was, I was 50 at that time, and uh, I, I decided I want to do something new. I take the risk. I take money in my hand. I want to do something new. My, my, my utility company where I was CEO told me electric cars will not come. No, we don't do charging stations with you, Marcus. Yes, we know that you are future looking as a tech evangelist, but we don't agree on charging stations. So I said, okay, fine, pay me out, I go. I right. do it myself, and that is what I what, what I did. Yeah, first in Austria, then trying in Dubai, then I was living in Seoul, I was living in China. Finally, I met my 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 proof of concept in in, in France, and I'm I'm now there to finish everything. What is what is going on? And uh, the story about the, the cars. Um, we are now uh, driving an A-Base U5, one of the best EV cars for the price. This is just 30, 35,000 euros plus taxes, plus VAT, and it's legally approved in, 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 in Europe and uh, I'm sure also in the United States. So you're, you're talking about the car that we're in right now yeah. taking to the Nice airport? Yeah, 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 because, because look, if you build charging station, that is amazing, but I learned five years break even is too long for some people, mm -hmm. so how to get faster, um, also operate the vehicles. So make your charging oh, stations oh, okay, busy. Okay. Yeah, put the charging stations on the place, put the cars on the place, on the same day you make money. Okay, so maybe I was missing that point. Your initial business model was purely charging stations. Yeah. You got this pushback about five years to break even, which doesn't make any yeah. sense given the fact it's infrastructure. Yeah. yeah. But maybe they did you a favor, to be honest. Maybe they did you a favor by pushing you into the vehicles also. Yeah, everything everything happens for better in life. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I missed yesterday the flight, so now we have the opportunity here to talk. Yeah. All right. So, anyways, everyone who knows me, you know, my 2021 is about making things better, everything that happens in life. So, I, I like Marcus and I like philosophy yes you know life gives you whatever you turn it into lemonade all right so cool um, and then you were saying something before I started recording about this car is made up of legally certified components put together I guess in a unique way therefore it's automatically compliant Yes, yes, yes. Explain that a little bit. Yeah, look, look. How to get to the car? Um, my my partner. I'm 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 really admire him that he gave me the opportunity. Um, we contracted 1,000 EV cars from an automotive company in Europe, and then after one month they cancelled the contract before they preferred to sell it not to fleet to sell it to private people where they can make money because of no discount. So then I told my partner, look, it's not a problem. Let me fly to China. I will find you so many cars as we can able as, as we are able to pay so for that reason I was uh, uh, almost uh, six weeks in, in China I was straight before COVID there 
in, in December 2019, so I was right. lucky, I flew there over Christmas, uh, business is important, and my charging station especially, and and I found two factories, yeah, one was Shanghai Automotive and the other one was their amazing ABS company, and they took it, they, they took the risk, yeah, to take me serious, and by that I brought the first 500 cars of these brand um, to, 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 to Corsica. Of course it's not my only thing, we are working in a team, yeah, with all the help of my partner, uh, it would not be happen, but on the other hand, you must be crazy to do, to act like me, that you say there is no problem, there is only task, and every task will find a solution. Okay, now pause, everyone, did you hear that? There's no problem, there's only a task. That is deep, I like that. I'm gonna take them, I'm gonna incorporate that point of view. Okay, so and then the, the second company, the, in China, you, you said they hadn't built a car before? Or? Yeah, it was fresh from the factory. I, as I remember, I'm not precisely, but it's three months or six months before they started the production of the, of, of the car. So the car is a German car. It's built by Roland Gumpert, as I, as I, as I remember. So um, I hope I'm not wrong. And uh, there are a lot of German parts in it. Um, the sales CEO is a German, Alex. I admire him about his passion. And um, finally, uh, they got an easy approval here and we took the first 500 cars into the rental car business on the island and uh, we, we operated last year in the in the tourist season from July until September we kept uh, something like uh, 90 cars uh, for the winter time and for, for, for taxi business in Paris and uh, and and the other and the other cars uh, we sold we, we helped selling that um, to to an, to, an, uh, um, uh, to to a company um, who wanted to get distributor in in, 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 in France yeah so finally uh, by these the car were easily sold uh, further and uh, now we are expanding also with Airways to get more and more cars. Um, last year also Shanghai Automotive took the opportunity with MG brand fully mm -hmm. electric to give us as I remember 350 cars for the season. Yeah, So that is how it's going. We need to make our charging stations that we are building busy by rental cars. The other business model what is even much more fascinated is to put taxis like in Paris and make our charging station that we are building now in Paris busy. Interesting. Because then the people drive there 300 kilometers a day. In Corsica, they only drive 60 kilometers a day. Yeah, so 400 kilometers a day driving that consumes more energy. So I make more money on the charging station. Not bad. Huh? Uh, so here's another question. The is it inherent two, two related questions is it inherently true that electrical vehicles are better for the environment than in internal combustion engines yes you have, yes yes thank you for the question um, there's a big big communication not mistake it is it is it is made because there's so many lobbyists nobody wants to get disrupted nobody so all these people who are in the in the car production scheme they are trying hard to cover their business model. Do you know the business model of BMW or of Volkswagen or, or, or Porsche or whatever you take? They well, sell, they, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, I mean, I'll say cars, but I have a feeling that's wrong. No, <laughs> no, their business model to, to sell you the car twice. Okay. Twice. First, you take the car from such an automotive guy, giant Maybe you, you buy it, yeah, uh, or somebody buys it, and um, maybe you get a discount of 10%, 20%, if you're lucky, 30%. And then later, they sell to the, whole, to the rest of the owners the list price on parts. That is the business model. And now with Tesla and all these other chi and these all these other EV car producers, the business model is changing. The business model changing. I was operating two years long an e-taxi company in Vienna. I drive 200,000 kilometers with each car mm -hmm. without going to the garage, without doing the maintenance, because I wanted to show in my books and to everybody who was interested that you can drive an electrical car endless. You can drive an electrical car one million kilometer on the battery. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. You don't need maintenance. It is like a hair dryer. You, you, you turn it on, you dry your hair, finish. Did you ever brought your, your hair dryer to a maintenance station? I, I wish I had enough hair that required a hair dryer, but I know what you mean. The, so what about, 
I can get it. I can get that the engine doesn't have moving parts because there's not really an engine. Yeah. But that, I mean, the wheel turns. There's brakes. There's brake pads. I think. Yeah, there's, but look, on the whole travel, I only braked two times. Because look, I can show you if I if I accelerate, okay, by this, and I go off the brake, off the off the energy, then the car is charging. Okay. Because yeah. it turns the moving energy into the kinetic energy, it turns into charging the battery. So the engines are are, are, are getting generators, and okay. by this, the, the the also the brakes and the Tesla comp uh, at the uh, e taxi company, I never char I never change the brakes. Two hundred thousand kilometers on one brake. Okay, so you're you're making an argument that, <clears throat> that at least cars are electric cars are potentially more cost efficient because you don't need to replace the parts. They're, they're I guess more environmentally friendly because you don't need to manufacture, distribute, and install them. Are is the battery itself more environment, including the mining, including everything else, more or less efficient than internal combustion? Yes, because look, um, if you if you consider. The refinery process so to get from the crude from I don't know the exact crude. English yeah, from the crude oil into the gasoline, it takes you three times more energy, three times more energy. It um, that means that you, if you drive, so that means this car consumes something like 20 kilowatt hours per per 100 kilometer. Okay. To get the fuel for such a car, you would need to spend three times more 60 kilowatt hours to make the fuel interesting that nobody is mentioning that nobody uh, but it's true you can google that, uh, that be because because nobody is talking about that they are all talking about the disadvantages the p potentially disadvantages where there are none disadvantages of course the battery with the cobalt and so on but the battery technology is improving it is like the iphone did you ever mentioned the iphone but what, what i have now um, if you compare to with the iphone one Never ever. The battery technology will improve very, very fast. The energy density gets more and more and more. Mm. And by that, we will soon fly two hours, three hours on one battery. Where the flying time at the moment is limited by physics to 30 minutes. I can't wait. <laughs> and I can't wait for my, <clears throat> I can't wait for the iPhone battery to have to be charged like once per week or once per year. That would be awesome. Yeah, it will, it will happen very soon because there is now so much money, so much money in the business of EV cars, mm -hmm. thanks to Elon Musk, and I'm very grateful for that. Maybe he watched that and he can accept my, my, my LinkedIn request. <laughs> Elon, buddy, two things. Accept the LinkedIn request for Marcus, and number two, say nice things about Bitcoin. I'm watching you, I'm serious. All right, I'm cool with Bitcoin getting energy friendly, but you know, show some love. It's not all about Dogecoin. All right, moving right along. Um, so, interesting points about the environmental efficacy of battery tech. It, was that, to what extent, and just be truthful, to what extent was that a motivator in what you're doing? Is it a nice side effect? Like, what, what's, what, what's, what, what's, what's the passion element with what you're doing? Look, um, I'm passionate in everything what I'm doing. If I do something, then I do it with all my heart. If I cook a meal um, for my friends, then I do it with my heart. And I love not that. And, and not by a receipt. Yeah, I hate to do something as a receipt, but somebody else was recipe. Writing. Yes. Yeah, recipe. Okay. I I don't like that. I, I I have my head. I have my brain. I have the fresh fish. I have the rice. I, I do it like a, like 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 an art. I, I so ba okay, basically, fresh. Marcus makes love to everything he does, and that's freaking awesome. Okay, cool. I like it. Yeah, stuff that I don't like, I don't do. That must be nice. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, I, li I, I like more of what I'm doing these days. That, so there you go. But I, I, when I grow up, I want to be like Marcus. Uh, <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, I can help you in that if you like. Yeah. There you go. See how this all works. Cool. All right, we are at a toll stop in beautiful France. I'm going to show you. Excuse me, <clears throat> people. <clears throat> there you go. I'm going to show you a French toll stop. Fun, interesting. Oh, and there we go. So, okay, so, Marcus, you got an interesting vision. You got an interesting person with an interesting vision. The, what is, like, pay me a picture of the next one to th three years with this project. Look, um, we will. Um, I will work on that to 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 bring the the island uh, business broader. So there are much more islands 
They are the island of Ibiza. There is the island of Sardinia, the island of of uh, of uh, um, these uh, what the Germans are going. That mm -hmm. uh, what is what was the name? Uh, ma, 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 ma. The island where the Germans are going? Yeah, there is one island, Mallorca. <laughs> Mallorca is also a nice island. I was about to say Madagascar, but that's an inside joke. Yeah, yeah. Also Madagascar. You know, we can talk that. about. Yeah. We can also talk about Madagascar or Sri Lanka or whatever. Yeah. But now in COVID times or post COVID times, yeah, the people prefer to, to travel locally and to bring EV cars to the island that is a very good thing because it conserves the beauty of the island for the future decade and an island has also from the business the nice thing that you can cover with a small amount of money the whole infrastructure the people can't escape if you want to cover the infrastructure in France you need a freaking amount of money you need a one billion or even more and that is very hard to cover and to get the funding for by the way I'm thinking to issue a green bond, yeah. So if you want to help, so me audience, I don't, I don't know if you caught quite how genius that is. Marcus is not just producing these electrical vehicles, but he specifically identified why operating in the island first makes sense, both for the island and for the business model. That was that's an interesting piece of deductive yes. logic. Did you? Did you chance upon that or did you analyze your way to analyzed, that position? Analyzed. That is why I took straight the, 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 the invitation, um, the invitation of, of my partner, yeah? And I'm just working there for equity, so nobody's paying. <laughs> yeah, it, it is like this. And, and, and look, if you, if you are looking about islands, yeah, like Cyprus, if you are looking like islands like Ibiza, you can make these islands energy independent. Because the car, as I mentioned, is no longer a car, mm -hmm. it's a battery on wheel. So what you do is you, 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 you bring that battery on wheel, connect them to the charges, to vehicle to grid charges, to bidirectional charges. So once the car is parked and not used, use the battery, store solar energy into the battery from the grid of the car. And then later, if there is battery energy needed during the night when there is no sun, then you just take out a little bit, maybe 20% out of the battery of the car. That doesn't hurt anybody. And you, and, and you are energy independent. Okay, and have you actually worked out the math to show that, say, Cyprus, for example, I have, could actually become an energy independent? I yes, like, I, I have feel like you have. I have everything on the paper. I, I have everything on the paper. I'm in discussion about that. It's a matter of funding. It's just a matter of funding. And because I prefer to not to, to ask the people, do you have uh, 1 million euro for, for me? I just invite people uh, to make them rich. That is all. Yeah? If somebody wants to take that opportunity, please feel free. I, I, okay, now let's talk about that because that's a little bit more of a personal style thing. When you and I were first talking, and I, <laughs> I had to kind of convince you to be real with me, you, you were making a point that you're not looking for investors. You're it's kind of what you just said. You're, you're, I don't know. I, I, I can't quite tell. Is it, is it that money wouldn't help or that you don't like talking to people from an investor perspective? Or what's your approach? What works for you? Look, first of all, I was looking uh, um, with my first 500K, I was looking three years long for investors. Uh -huh. And at the end, I spent my money instead of how stupid I am. I just had took my 500,000 uh, euros, built some charging stations, yeah, and be happy. Yeah. That's I, a beautiful I, comment. No, yeah. yeah. Yeah, why? I was so stupid. I was I was running around, paid for conference, paid for travel, paid the people on marketing to get more money, to, to get 30 million. But, but, but look, this is not working like this. You have to work hard. And if you work hard, people want to join you. They want to be part of the, of the, of, of the journey. And and by that we can we can uh, help them. Now I have to find the charge to the parking. It's just go back. Okay, guys, we're having a real life moment here, which is we're going to find a charger for the car. Am I no, that no, no, no. Oh man! Look, that is a story about Monaco. I I adore Monaco since this morning yeah. because this morning I was figuring out that charging the electrical car is free for everybody. You don't have to pay, and there are so many charging stations in Monaco that you find a lot. That you find a lot. I adore that, yeah. I adore that. So thanks for the for the family who make that happen, yeah. I adore that. That is fascinating. And in a way, Monaco is so small, it's like an island. Yeah. I mean, it you is, can't yeah. cover it. And the fact that they're making free charging stations, that's that's a huge statement. Yeah, that's it is. It's a huge commitment. It is it is, it is, yeah. It is, yeah. Oh. Cool. So, so now we have to find a parking place. Alright guys, now we're doing the exciting thing of finding a parking place. 
And no. we don't need to charge it because the battery is full. Yeah. 95% yes. 95%. So we just went from Monaco to the Nice airport. Uh, and Marcus says, cool, custom, kind of custom car, hybrid car, blend. I like this. This this car looks like it fits in like a normal car, but underneath it, it's a monster. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's five four hundred kilometers on the battery, and it is uh, enough range. If you do that in taxi business, where usually the Uber drivers or the Bolt drivers are driving something like three hundred kilometers a day, yeah, then yeah, you you you, you make it. You just charge once. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And yeah, you actually made an interesting additional point here, which is suppose I am a taxi driver. You know, I imagine it costs my costs me time and the company time if I have to pause every hundred or two hundred miles or three hundred miles and fill gas in my car and got you know who knows what the wait time is. You know, if I, this is more driving time actually, there's more time behind behind the wheel if you want to or less less wasted time from your life. Interesting. Uh, we are now in the Nice parking garage. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna distract you as you're parking. Any any final words for the audience? Just anything inspirational, anything that they should know going forward, just lay it on us. Look, um, here's my parking. No, I take another one. Um, I really want to invite everybody to take the journey of EV cars. EV two wheelers, I have the project of eMoppet, so check out eMoppet.io. I have the project of um, of the of the e taxi business. If somebody wants to take EV cars for a city to 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 act as a local co-founder, I do that as a franchise model. If you are interested in flying drones, I just recently signed a, a contract for business development with Ehan. It is the best flying drone you can do. And look for your Bitcoin people with fifteen bitcoins. The fifteen bitcoins. If you send me straight now 15 bitcoins on my wallet, two months later, you have a flying drone where you can fly wherever you want. 30 minutes, 130 kilometers per hour. And these Ehan people, they are so crazy. They are really serious. They are really serious. They are starting taxi operations with 200 flying drones in September this year. So it's really safe and it works. And if somebody wants to have not only a lion in the garden, he also wants to have a flying drone in the garden, autonomous flying, sit in with two people, or some 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 people like David Guetta where will go um, uh, to David Odessa. Guetta, the, the DJ? Yeah, I, I, I will, yeah. yeah, yeah, I go to David Guetta on uh, this week. Um, he, he, he is in Odessa on the 10th of July. I'm in Odessa July 16th. Yeah, but I, I'm on 10th. So maybe you should consider to go earlier. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I want to talk to David. I want to talk to David. So if somebody is there who knows David Getta's WhatsApp, please share me the WhatsApp because I want to invite him for the flying drone. Oh my God, that's so funny. Uh, look, if he would fly, is he in if you, pizza? yeah, in, in the beach, I be, beach club. If, if, if he would fly, if he would fly with the drone, mm. imagine, I'm, I'm, I'm crazy, I know, but imagine, no, it's not crazy. If, it's awesome. if, if, if he would fly with the flying drone from his boat or from his villa on stage, on stage, mm. land on stage with the flying drone, mm. playing, flying, playing his opener music, yeah, the people will love him. He will love okay, okay, him. I, I love this vision. I love this vision. Here's, here's a key question. Am I invited to Corsica? Yes, for sure. Come. I invite everybody okay. to Corsica. I oh, wait. Don't tell everybody. Here. Just, you know, <laughs> I thought it was special for a second. Yeah. Whoa, 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 I'm whoa, nice whoa, to a whoa, lot of people. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Every, everyone's invited. Okay. That, <laughs> never mind. That's not, so, that's not so relevant anymore. But maybe I'll see you in Odessa. Yeah. All right. Uh, Marcus, this is awesome. I'm going to shake your hand. I'm going to say thank you. So you can actually find a parking space. Everyone, with Marcus Dolt, I'll put all the information in the show notes, of course, all the links, all the bio, just fascinating conversation. Obviously, I've never done an interview in a car before, but this was so important. I had to shower, jump out, not have coffee, but I'm glad we made it happen. So talk to you all soon. Big hug.